viewers, it is the time you have been waiting for. Okay, that may be a bit of an exaggeration. It is time to provide recognition to those individuals or institutions who were deemed by your voting and my sage wisdom as the biggest assholes of 2015. We'll do this countdown style, but we'll begin with the runners up. People who almost made the list, but didn't for reasons I'll explain. Didn't make the list. To the surprise of many who voted for his inclusion, Bill Cosby is not on our list of the biggest assholes of 2015. Now I have hated Bill Cosby my entire life with his stupid stories and his finger wagging, moralizing and politically correct motivated programming. I'm the cause, I'm the cause, I'm the cause, I'm the cause. So I have no fanboy appreciation for Bill Cosby, but I subscribe to this ancient notion called innocent till proven guilty. No case against Cosby has made its way through the judicial system yet. The number of women that came forward to the media lends credence to their claims, but the media isn't a courtroom unless Judge Wapner. As for people proven guilty, here's Jared, the former subway spokesman who took the chain slogan too literally. He didn't make the list because, again, calling a child porn trafficker and molester an asshole is letting him off too easily. Though I'm sure Mr. Fogel won't be disappointed. After all, considering what they do to child molesters in prison, the last word he wants to think more about right now is asshole. FIFA chief Sepp Blatter was banned from working with the soccer organization for eight years for ethics violations, and the negative attention his questionable activities brought gave a black eye to the sport. And he would probably be listed on the assholes list if I gave a single shit about soccer. Okay, they didn't make it. Let's go on to those who did. Remember, we are honoring assholes whose actions led to positive discussions or changes despite their best efforts. And here we go with the bottom five. Walter Palmer, the guy who shot Cecil, the mascot lion of Africa. I've heard all of his excuses, not being told the lion was protected, being misled by his guides, and his case did raise awareness for the rationale behind licensed hunts. Kill off sick and ailing animals humanely, and the hunting fee goes to fund conservation efforts, etc. But if he was really big into animal conservation, he could have paid the money without the killing. Why is an American dentist going to Africa to shoot lions? Asshole! Josh Duggar! Now, I've never understood America's fascination with a family which breeds like tribbles, and less so once the Duggars start with their holier than thou Jesus love fests. Now, I never trust people who make such a public issue of their faith, because usually they're full of shit. And lo and behold, Josh Duggar, one of the family's 9 million kids, is revealed to have had a problem with molesting underage girls, including family members. And that his was one of the names exposed as an Ashley Madison client. And that he had sex with a porn star. This from the executive director of the Family Research Council, a Christian lobby group which says it's pledged to preserve and advance the interests of family, faith and freedom, and fortify the traditional foundations of civil society. What did I tell you? Full of shit. His exposure does give a boost to healthy skepticism of those who pass judgment and claim to be moral paragons. Plus, the first molestation allegations were published in the magazine In Touch, which is a major victory for irony. Josh Duggar is an asshole. So Ariana Grande gets caught on security video with her douchebag posse going into a donut place and licking donuts while talking about how much she hates Americans. When the video surfaced, she gave a tearful apology and explained that she was making a statement about how upset she feels that so many Americans are getting sick from obesity by eating sugary foods. Bullshit. Those are two thoughts in sequence, which is more than she could string together without help from her PR flax. And sorry, princess, but the issue isn't Americans' poor dietary choices, but the fact that crappy food is what's more affordable to people who can't afford their own full-time chefs. And that's an issue which her let them eat wheat cakes crap brought to the fore. But come on, she decides to show compassion for snack food eaters by leaving her bacteria-filled saliva on baked goods? Go piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. You're an asshole. <laughs> Rachel Dolezal, the white woman who claimed she was black. Her parents are white, she's naturally a blue-eyed blonde, but she claims to identify as black. I can identify as Brad Pitt, I still won't get to bang Angelina Jolie. Her story did bring the issue of race as a societal construct to the surface. Like we needed another reason to navel gaze. But she didn't do it for that. She's just an asshole. This is Dr. Oz, and this is Dr. Strange. The difference between the two? Dr. Strange doesn't give bullshit medical advice. 
Dr. Oz is a real doctor, a cardiothoracic surgeon, another gift to humanity from Oprah's housewife and shut-ins TV factory that also gave us Dr. Phil. Dr. Oz has a nationally syndicated TV show focusing on medical and health issues called Dr. Oz. This gives him tremendous credibility as a trusted medical authority. So when he promotes quack cures like Reiki energy therapy, faith healing, and communication with the dead, and allows his mug to be used in ads for unproven naturopathic products, he's given the thumbs up to snake oil that viewers may go to instead of medically proven treatments. In case you're not following, that's bad. In fact, a study published in the British Medical Journal on the effectiveness of Oz's medical advice found that 51% of his recommendations had no scientific backing or rationale, or in some cases, contradicted scientific evidence. Asshole. And that's the bottom five of the 10 biggest assholes of 2015. The top five may surprise you, especially the person inhabiting number one. Trust me, it's not the person you think it is. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the top five biggest assholes of 2015. Does anybody even know what stay tuned means anymore? Most of the people watching this online have never used a freaking dial to tune anything. I don't know.